used to be the case that you needed a US bank account and a US credit card and indeed a US address to sell things on Amazon in the USA, on Amazon.com. That's no longer the case. You can now, for the most part, for most countries, do that from wherever you are located. You can do that. But there are still times when you will need a address in the US of A and a credit card in the US of A. For instance, if you wanted to open your own Amazon account uh, in the USA or indeed multiple Amazon accounts depending on what sort of things you're engaged in of course. So in this video I want to show you how you can open yourself a US bank account and get a US credit card uh, without being in the US of A and without having a US citizenship card. Let's get into it. So what you want to do, so first thing is regarding you're going to need a US bank account, okay? And the easiest way to do that is to use one of the new fintech companies. Uh, my favorite is Mercury. Uh, they make it super easy for you to open up an account, a US-based bank account from anywhere in the world. And they're at mercury.com, okay? So you want to do that first. Just go through the process of opening up the account, get yourself registered. Whilst you're being checked out, because you've got to provide some information, your passport and things like that, you'll want to then move to the next phase, which is getting yourself an LLC, a limited liability company. This is important to have. Um, as you'll understand when you try and get yourself a credit card, this is an important thing to have. I've got this company up. Um, I have personally used this company okay, to do it, and they've been very, very good. They're super cheap. Uh, it's very, very hassle-free. They're based in Wyoming. Now, I'm not saying you should incorporate your LLC in Wyoming. What I am going to say is this. Wyoming has got a very, very particular set of um, uh, tax-based incentives and also company-based incentives. So between... Wyoming and Nevada, which is also a very, very good option as well, um, that could be very, very useful for you as part and parcel of an overall um, tax mitigation strategy. For instance, Buffalo registered agents, they're super, super cheap, okay? Super, super cheap. So we use these, it's very good. And then you can get yourself a, a registered office and you can get somewhere you can get your stuff sent to. And when they send you your stuff, then uh, these guys will just scan it for you and email it. So you don't need to be in the USA to do anything I'm going to show you next. Okay. So 49 bucks. Next thing you want to do is get yourself a um, EIN number, employee identification number. This is good to have. So um, you'll need these to do a lot of things on Amazon that me and mortals can't do without an EIN. Uh, most people don't bother with this, but it's an important step in the process, particularly if you're going to do um, creative things on Amazon, okay? Creative things on Amazon. And what you want to do, we're well, not in the right, right time zone here, but that's the area and you can apply online here, but you've got to complete steps that I've just shown you before you get to this part, okay? So you want to do that, get yourself your EIN set up. Next up, you want to come back to Mercury and put all that information, so your EIN and your um, registered office, etc., into your Mercury account. So that's all in there as well. And then you've got your bank account set up. You can then use that, of course, to accept funds, from Amazon, from Shopify, from PayPal, from Stripe, blah, blah, blah. You can use all of that to get it sent directly into here for you, okay? So this is where all of this comes good. So next up, you can now get, with everything I've just shown you, you can now get yourself a credit card. Um, and what you'll need to find is a credit card that, that doesn't require you to have what's called an SSN. Um, social security number, okay? And there are a few of those that don't require you to have an SSN um, that are based in the USA. This one being my current favorite one, okay? So it's a capital one. Capital one has got a couple of different options. 
but this is my favorite option um, to actually get yourself a credit card with what I've just shown you. And then you can use that credit card, of course, to order products on Amazon, to open an Amazon account, to do all sorts of cool stuff with, okay? And you do not need to be, because you'll then use your um, registered address to apply for this. You do not then need to be in America to then have an American credit card with an American LLC. And that's going to be very, very useful for you as you become more advanced, okay? So if you're looking to level up as far as your ability to do interesting things on Amazon, then here's how you would get that particular part of the equation set up, okay? Super easy. You don't need to be physically in America for any of that. You can do it from Australia, no worries at all, okay? And again, you can then use that in lots of creative ways to do creative things, not just on Amazon, but in lots of different places. That was a video from my regular Monday night Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs, over 2,500 members here in Australia. Indeed, we've got members from right around the world and growing where they're actually the fastest growing professional community of e-commerce entrepreneurs right here in Australia, with sales, by the way, of over 50 million dollars. If you'd like to find out more about what we do at the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs and of course come and join us so you can get the benefits of being an Aussie Online Entrepreneur too, you can check out the link below or you can get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. With that being said, see you in the next time. Bye for now.